Hello, welcome to some more Wonder Song. Um, if you're not joining me live, then you missed the previous discussion about how Super Paper Mario is now 15 years old, and I feel ancient. But that comes up every time the release date of a game is mentioned. Um, but for now, we're here. <laughs> meow. I like to think this is the bard, like, meowing back at the... the well, it's not a cat. What do they call it? A, a chin? Q-I-N? I'm just guessing based on, like, how Q-I is pronounced in Mandarin. Well, up, up, and away! Uh, what? Let's fly! No. No? I'm tired. I slept on a floor. Barely. You tried carrying you for a couple days. See how you feel about doing it another day after that. You're walking. <sighs> nice to see you too, Miriam. Grumpy Witch is your favorite. She's pretty fun. I mean, she's mean. But in a fun way. <laughs> well, here we go. Sure is desert out here. Ah! Oh! Are you like my friend now? Uh... Can't go wrong with a sleep-deprived Sundere witch. I'd say that's like me. I mean, I'm sleep-deprived. Maybe I'm a witch. I don't think I'm Sundere, though. I'm not mean enough. I can't, like, go up and- oh, I can! It's like, surely I can ascend this hill. Be friends with me, Miriam. Why are you so mean to me? You were hoping it was like the bees in A Link Between Worlds use them to attack enemies? Sadly, no. There's not really enemies to speak of. Sort of. There was once, but... I wonder if this is... Oh, I was gonna say. This is the Sky Temple. The next Nexus Point. People built a whole temple around it. But it's the place that matters, not really the temple. What's special about the place? Never really figured that out either. All the Nexus points seem to be in your na near natural formations, but they're just places where there's a lot of spirit stuff. Spirit stuff is also kind of everywhere and invisible, because our world and spirit world are linked. But at these places, it's stronger. Enough that you can move between them. Basically. My grandma could probably explain it better. Anyway, it's useless for us for now. Overseer song, blah, blah. Well, thank you for the lesson, Miriam. Yeah, I was gonna say that this looks like the nexus point. Oh, I can't even go that way. Well, that was a waste. But what a nice view. Yo, there's a nexus in here. Is Kirk making eggs? See, I was thinking about Etrian Odyssey nexus. Which I didn't actually get to finish, but uh, my 3DS is busted. Love to get it repaired at some point, but that, that costs money. Hey! Don't get us lost in the wrong kingdom. Rule is back the other way. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to go the other way first. Just kidding. Be my friends. Maybe attack some dudes. That would be keen. Oh! Oh yeah, I have an entourage now. Maybe if I get enough butterflies, they'll carry me. Unlike some people. Miriam. I can't imagine Q even weighs that much. Look at them, they're like a twig. Ratchet and Clank into the Nexus came to mind. Whoa! That's a pretty big wall. Is that just to keep out people from other kingdoms? It seems kind of excessive. But they must be serious about it. We probably shouldn't just go around it. We might get in trouble. I wonder if there's someone we can talk to. What should we do? Walls down. Miriam! That's against the law, I am pretty sure. I told you. We're gonna have to break a few rules, right? 
We don't have time to worry about this crap. Oh, come on. I'm so happy she got to blast something again. <laughs> I don't remember, Kelly. Have you seen any previous bits of this game before? Is this your first impression of Miriam? She leaves a pretty strong one, doesn't she? Hey. Have you noticed how quiet it is? There's no animals or birds here. You should walk sometimes, Miriam. I almost called her Muriel. No. I feel like it's bad for the circulation in your legs. Whoa! What happened here? It looks like a monster attack. Hmm. Maybe it's nice. Like the ones in Delphi. Yeah, probably not. Let's be careful around here. I don't know, maybe this tree was, like, blocking their sunlight. Maybe all of these trees were blocking their sunlight for their garden. It looked like the wall was to protect the forest. Or was there to protect the forest, since the other side got so wrecked. But this side got pretty wrecked, too. They said that other kingdom burned it down, right? This definitely doesn't look like burning. There's something weird going on out here. I could really use those butterflies. Hey. That looks like a thing. <laughs> I'm just listening to Q yell indignantly for a bit. Oh, it's a gas lane. Whoa! It's on your face! I know! Do something! It didn't like that! I was so scared! But I guess it wasn't so bad. Yeah, it's just one little guy. I wonder where he came from. Hmm. Oh. We should run. We should sing! What? It works! Right? We have to get through the forest to the king! So we have to try. You know what? Sure. Knock yourself out. Ah. Oh, there we go. Ah. <laughs> Miriam just like bouncing along to the music. I see, I just gotta keep them at bay. Leave me alone. Unless you're Gengar, I'd love to be friends with the Gengar. Man, I coveted a Gengar for years. I wasn't able to get one until Leaf Green. Maybe if I sang to entrance them, they would be my friends. I really like that Miriam is just bouncing to the beat. Like, clearly she's enjoying it. You know, she wouldn't want to admit it. Dusknoir is your ghost type of choice. Also an excellent Pokemon. I have one named Johannes. <laughs> Boy, Kiwi's really gonna need some, like, tea or something to soothe their throat after this. It's a lot of singing. Ah. 
I hope I'm making progress. <laughs> like, there isn't something I'm missing. No, not- Johannes isn't a Gengar. Uh, he's a, a Dusk Noir. Please, please spare me. Uh, uh, Dusk Noir because they communicate with spirits of the dead. We did it! Wow. What a bunch of chumps. Let's keep going. Before they come back. Secretly a drummer at heart. Oh my god. Miriam, I want to make another band. You're going to be my drummer. Whether you like it or not. Oh. Halt! Stay back from the wall. And identify yourselves. What's a witch doing here in the forest? What? We're delivering a message for the king! What's wrong with us being here, dude? You're a witch! Yeah, I... So what? These are dangerous times. So we can't just... Hold on a moment. What's going on, man? There's a witch at the gate. Whoa, what? Here in the forest? Let me see. They say they have a message for the king. Oh, huh, really? They seem okay to me. Phil, they are obviously spies. I don't know, man. They look like refugees to me. We can't just leave them with the monsters, can we? I think we can. No way! Let him in, man! Ain't no time to be uncouth. Alright, I'm letting you in. But come through quickly. A honk to you too, bored. A Dusknoir... They look more like a genie, I guess. Um, they evolve from uh, Duskall and Dusclops. Stay back! Sheesh! Bing, man! You gotta tell your chin to cool it! What's everyone's deal here? Are you or are you not from Chandish? No! You, sure. But what about the witch? What? No! Seriously, what is your problem? It's because wishes come from Chandish, man! Ping, she has no idea what's going on here. You gotta cool it. This is seriously not cool, dude. Okay, okay, sure. Is your animal gonna... attack us? Again? No. We're cool. Okay, okay, great. You two are totally welcome here, okay? We got a lot going on with the monsters and all, so it's all a bit crazy right now. But you really don't seem like you're dangerous. We're all gonna take it easy now, okay? They use the trebuchet sound from Age of Empires 2 for the door? That's a good catch, Claire. Also, hello. Hmm. You're both lucky Phil's in charge here. If you are innocent, I apologize for my aggression. But I have my mother to worry about as well. We can't be too careful these days. So, I'll be keeping an eye on you. We're surrounded on all sides by awful dark spirits. And apparently questionable travelers. So getting in and out of this town is a nightmare. We're just waiting for the Chandish army to follow. We're all very peaceful here. We don't need unruly travelers coming and making a ruckus. You understand? Please respect us and our town. I want to go singing at the top of my voice everywhere. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, my son gave you trouble. Ignore him. He's a fool. Wow. 
You and your friends seem perfectly nice to me. It's true that the forest has gotten very dangerous. I've been trapped in this sorry town for who knows how long. I'll probably die here, too. Mother! Don't speak like that. At one point, a very tough girl came through here, and for a time she kept us safe. But of course, as soon as she left, things became terrible again. All the while, my idiot son hasn't helped anyone. Even some person with a sword is tougher than my son. Pathetic, isn't it? Mother! That was the hero of legend. How am I supposed to be as strong as she is? Hero, legend, who gives a hoot? You'd be strong too if you weren't so lazy. Wow, uh, I feel awkward. Well, I personally, Mori, feel awkward stepping in on this. Uh, Kiwi has no idea what's going on, as usual. Look at them. No thoughts. I don't trust these people to be cool. Maybe because they attacked us with a bird. Maybe... Ugh. I feel so weird here. Like everyone keeps looking at me. I'm not the one with the weird attack bird. I hate this stupid kingdom. The people are weird. And it's full of monsters. I don't know which is worse. Complain, complain, complain. Too hot, too cold, too many monsters. Hey there, Wayfarer. Sorry I didn't introduce myself. I'm Phil. I'm kind of the boss around here. Sorry about Ping. This monster situation's got us all wound up. Leaving here is dangerous. We've been trapped here for days now. You know how it is. I gotta ask, though. How did you get through the woods to here? I sang to the monsters. Whoa. No kidding. You two will fit right in, then. We play music here every night. Keeps the spirits up. You should join us tonight, Wayfarer. We can put all this ugly behind us. We'll be setting up the fire soon. Just let me know when you're ready. Is this your, um, your, your chin? This, this dog? It's cute. Ah. Uh, Borfk. How come there's no cats? I guess there's like a... Squanda. Don't squander your future. Ah! Ain't so many of us left here now. You think the king even knows about us stuck here? I bet he doesn't. Or he doesn't care. I'm worried for my granddaughter and her chin. They were supposed to go back to Shai Chan. Until the monsters showed up. How much longer are we going to be trapped here? This ain't no place for a girl to grow up. This place sucks. I miss Shaishan so much. Now I'm stuck here. With nobody but Grandpa and Archin. <sighs> I've never met a witch before. Can you do a magic trick? Oh, I'm not a witch. My friend Miriam is, though. Can she do a magic trick? I feel like if I ask her, she'll get mad. Could I, could I ask her? I have to know. No. Ugh. Just look over and see more as best as more as best as. What is going on? What are witches like? Well, Miriam is really grumpy all the time. But she's also really cool. One time she fought the hero. So she's grumpy all the time, and she fights the hero? I guess that's why everyone hates witches. Wait, that's not what I meant. Oh, okay. I feel... Savita? Is that what your name was? You could benefit from also a large, round pair of glasses. I think it would be very cute. Wanna get the fire going? Um... I was curious... You all have been trapped here? Yeah, pretty much. Or here to turn the trees into lumber. It's nice work living amongst the forest. But then monsters showed up and the forest got dangerous. We used to have a lot more folks. Work in the mill and all. Oh gosh, did they all? Oh, 
No, they didn't die. At least I don't think so. They left at a big group for Shyshan with the hero. She was here? Oh, yeah. Saved our lives. But we have elderly and kids and Jean, folks who couldn't do the intense journey with her. So a few of us stayed back to keep him safe. We're hoping the king sends back help soon. It's a lot on our minds, Wayfarer. That's why we need nice campfire songs. So, want to get the fire going? Yeah. Yeah, I'm so ready too. Not only should there be a Mori out of context compilation, which I would be honored if it existed, there should be a Mori's chat out of context compilation. Beautiful night, hey? In honor of our new wayfaring friends, I'm going to tell an old tale about a wayfarer and a witch. They say it happened here in this very forest. And they say if you listen real close, you can hear their old spirits singing along to it, too. Why not start us off with a G, Wayfair? Two hearts entwined. I hope this isn't a portent for something. Cool song! Thanks very much, Wayfarer. We've been singing it for generations. But it's kind of sad, too. Why did the witch curse the Wayfarer? If they were in love... Hmm... You know? I never really thought about it. <laughs> Guess I always figured the witch was some kind of trickster who snatched up the wayfarer's soul. No! But why? Maybe it's just a stupid made-up song. Who cares why? Well, not totally made up. Like I said, it happened in these woods. And the wayfarer was a girl from Rule. And then her soul got snatched. Well, that's how the story goes. Sounds pretty made up to me. Or what? Do you think witches just go around snatching souls? Holy crap, do you actually... No! Well, we aren't used to seeing witches. It's hard to know sometimes. They're cruel folk, witches. What are you talking about? Where do you think the forest monsters come from? They're soldiers of Chandish. Magically created and sent here to attack us. 
and destroy our precious forest. I didn't know that. They're the reason we've been trapped here. But why? That's the scariest thing about Chandish. We don't know why. But from their actions, it's clear they hate us. They have no regard for nature or our way of life. Tell us this, witch. You said you had a message for the king. Who's it from? What's the message? It's a secret. But it's something that could end the war. Hmm. You really think so, Wayfarer? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. But that's just not possible. Well, here's hoping. I think it's starting to get on in time. How about we call it for the eve? Yeah. I think I've had enough of this. I hope you don't mind that I'm quiet for the song. But I don't think I could sing along to them since I haven't heard them before. So I thought let's just let everyone enjoy it without me yammering. Secret messages. Witches coming through here. You know how suspicious this all looks? Don't make us traitors to rule by housing you. We have enough problems as it is. Guess you'll be on your way then, hey? Sorry if stuff got a little heavy last night. I want here to be as loving as it can be. We got enough bad going on outside. Tell the king we said hey. And if you find anyone who came out of here, tell them we're okay too, yeah? Do you like our rainbow trees, Wayfarer? We brought them here from Shishan. If you go there, you'll see tons more. They're a reminder for us to take care of nature. We might be chopping trees to build our homes, but we always plant more where they come from. We gotta work together with the forest, just like with Archeen. That's something that means a lot to us in rule. How come some of you have Jean and some don't? Or maybe I'm only seeing some of them. Must be nice to be able to fly. Just come and go while we're stuck. Which has got it all. If you're seeing the king, least you could do is remind him about us, since we treated you so nice and all. I'm so done with this place. Let's get out of here. I'm flying. Ah, uh, the, the squanda beeped at me. Oh. Miriam is giving us a ride. How magnanimous. <laughs> oh, I can't go up that that route just here. Is this a thing I can do? I'll go buy butterfly. Oh, goodbye butterfly. Someday Wander Song getting a cast to sing the songs. Hey Wander Song devs, if you ever voice it, hire me for something. <laughs> I don't know what. Something. Is this like a bear? It looks like a bear. Big bear. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Lil B! Who's this? Oh, you know. Just an old buddy. She's in cahoots with the hero! Cahoots, huh? Lil B, I'm in cahoots with everyone! You're all my special little buds. I don't pick favorites. <laughs> I don't like her. What happened here? A big fight. Between Audrey and some monsters, I mean. Me and Audrey are still cool. <laughs> it was crazy. The monsters were all like, blah, 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 blah. And Audrey was all like, swing, zap, kapow. She's just so cool. She saved the city big time. I think now they're celebrating with her. Oh, great. So she's here. 
Now you all get to hang out more. I don't think I want to see her. She sucks. She's really not that bad. Once you get to know her, at least. But, okay, I'm out. I was just zoning out here. Didn't expect to see ya. Um, but hey, good luck. On the whole Earth Song thing. Mwah. Peace. Lane, hello, welcome. Have you played this game before? It's my first time through it, and I love it. Hello. Uh, found the fairy. Hello? Anybody? Acknowledge me. Nobody will acknowledge me. Rude. Hang on. She didn't notice us. She definitely did. But she's being too cool to notice. <sighs> Joke's on her. While she's busy getting fawned on, we can go straight to the king. Deliver your silly message, and then get a head start on the real quest. Enter the world. Overseer song. Remember? Sounds like a plan. Oh, Kelly, well, thank you. Oh, I can even pet this jackalope? But I can't pet the bird. The bird is too angry. Shaishan Palace up the hill. The other day, I was out by a library downtown. And I saw these delightfully fat pigeons milling about. And I was taking pictures of them. I wish I'd filmed it. Because as I was looking at these delightfully fat pigeons, sorry while I pet all of these, um, a goose about like 20 feet away, like it was on the ground, just started honking and swooping. I was worried it was gonna go towards me because like, am I near a nest or something? But no, it swooped at the pigeons and drove them all away. I actually got a couple photos of a, fi a pigeon taking off and uh, the goose flapping after it. Very rude. Can't even ransack this place. Kiwi, you're too nice. Kiwi, like you, spends the party petting all the jackalopes. Well, that's the best way to survive a party, is find the jackalope. Do not leave the jackalope. Slip out when everyone else is drunk. Shaishan Palace Gardens? Boy, I hope I'm pronouncing these things right. Devs, if I'm saying things wrong, um, I was gonna say yell at me. <laughs> Assuming a dev would ever see this, but you know. A dogalope deer fox critter. Whatever it is, I'm glad we can pet it. Oh, more birds, good. Hello. Uh, hello. We're here to meet the king or whatever. Can you go get him? Or something? Absolutely not! In case you haven't noticed, we are at war. It's my sole duty to protect the king from harm. So we are not allowing anyone in or out at this time. Especially not any witches. What? That's ridiculous! Nobody? What about you? You don't go in or out? Obviously we make some exceptions. We've invited the hero for a special visit. But unless you are of her caliber, no way, sister. Uh, her? Of course it's her. However, you can feel free to enjoy the exquisite castle garden. Oh, sure. I'm gonna just ravish your stupid garden. Can't get enough. Maybe I'll eat all your stupid trees and flowers. Miriam, because they are so exquisite. Mm -hmm. We should go, Miriam. Yes, yeah, sure. Deep breath, Miriam. Do not blast the garden. Do not start eating the trees like broccoli. Miriam's so good. I should be able to pet the birds, but it's an oversight. No, also hello. Oh, hey now, Wanderer. You again! What are you doing here? Me? 
I'm catching some sun. Sun's good for you, Wanderer. It's so warm. It just feels right, you know? I found a great place to catch the sun. A hip spot in the desert far from here. If you find it, well, I better not say. It's for you to discover. There are a million, billion, billion suns like ours. But ours is special to us because it gave us life. And it gives more every day. Just gives and gives and gives. We're so lucky to have that. We humans aren't like the sun. Sometimes we give and sometimes we have to take too. When we feel lost or sad, I think the sun's there to remind us that it ain't all bad. And it is always there reminding us, even when we can't see it behind the clouds. Okay, desert, you gonna teach me another de a desk? A dance. Uh, you know what? Teach me a desk, Mask. Ugh! I can't believe this. What do we do now? Um, well, we could forget about your ghost message. No! We can't do that! We could end the war, Miriam! We can't quit yet! Well, then we can talk to your good buddy, the hero. No! Definitely not that either! Those are the choices. I think we should focus on finding the Overseer song. But you do you. <laughs> She's so angry. Who hurt you, Miriam? Those are some funny clothes. You aren't chondish, are you? Sorry, I'm military, so I'm supposed to ask. I don't really care. The war with Chandish has been going my entire life. I really don't care about it. As long as we don't die, I guess. The military's a bit of a drag, but you get benefits for it. And staying in the city is easy. Nothing ever reaches here. Well, except those giant monsters. But then the hero just took care of it herself, so... Whatever. A scary thought is, since monsters did make it to here, are they going to make it here again? And what if the hero's not here that time? It's a lot to worry about. When it gets to be that much, I'd rather just not think about it. I mean, yeah, I feel that. How come I can't pet? Whoa, I didn't mean to drop down. Uh, let me... Is there anything else up here? No. So, like, I'm missing out on petting stuff? Hey. I'm sitting here. You want something? Everyone's so uppity about this hero gal. Not me. Don't give a crap. As soon as somebody's that popular, I get kind of suspicious, you know? Nobody's that good. She's a giant phony. Has to be. If she was a real hero, maybe she'd end the stupid war. It just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. What's time for this crap? I'm just gonna enjoy my spot. Something about Steve reminds you of, like, Diogenes and, like, his little tub. You know? I don't know why, but I feel worried almost all the time. Even when nothing bad is happening. I wish I could just turn it off. Maybe it's the war. Maybe not. The Chandish really scare me. I know they all use magic and stuff. I don't want people like that as an enemy. Did you see the giant monsters they sent here? Someone told me they ate anything and everything. Plants, rocks. Animals, walls, houses, people. Even when I forget about the war, I still feel terrible. Like something bad is coming. And big. Sometimes the feeling is especially bad. And the only thing that shakes me out of it is talking to my mom. She's the best. 
Uh, you hang on to your mom, Yuna. That anxiety life. Relax at the Shishan Lodge. Oh, enjoy your walk with your wife, Lane. Please give your wife my regards and have fun. Ha! <laughs> Look how cute my chin is. Ain't he the greatest? We've been together all my life now, you know. If you can't tell, that's a heckin' long time. <laughs> it's enough to make an old gal a bit teary-eyed. You get to my age, it's hard not to reminisce about the old days. The war's been going forever, but feels like it wasn't so bad back then. Then again, feels like everything was better back then. <laughs> I don't look like you got a chin of your own. But let me tell you, it's a special thing. A companion that's been there as long as you can remember. That don't ever leave your side. It's better than family. Better in my family anyways. I wonder why only some people have them. But again, maybe we're just not seeing them all. Heh. <laughs> Be careful, chump. Me and my chin are the strongest in Shishan. Oh my gosh. You make your animal friend fight? Uh, not really. It's just a game we play with the other kids, like Pokemon. So the heroes in town, they say she's pretty tough. But she doesn't even have her own chin. I was gonna find her in the lodge later and challenge her to a duel. My mom won't let me though. There was this really cool show that came through town about a hero and his chin partner. They would fight evil sorcerer bad guys together. And they were like telepathic and super in sync. And really, really strong. I want to be like that. Me and my chin are training up. We could compete on our school sports team this year. I want to go all the way to nationals. Nationals and what? Like what sport? They're all Pokemon trainers, hello. Do -do 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 -do. Welcome to my humble caravan. I hope you'll buy something. I have all kinds of plants and bugs I scavenged in the wilderness. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, me neither. Nobody wants to do business with a panda. Do -do 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 -do. So are you just like wearing a red panda? Is that like your fur your fursona? Are you really a panda? She! Yes! I traveled all over the world with my caravan. But people here don't trust a talking red panda. They say they love animals, but they don't love me. I think you're neat. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Truthfully, times are tough now. I had to sell my horse here for money, but I yearn for the open road again. <laughs> Why do you keep doing that? Why do I keep throwing an extra ruse? Have you ever lived in the wilderness? Do -do 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 -do. There's nothing better for me. The smell of trees. The sound of rain on the roof of my caravan. But to be honest, I've grown to love human food. I guess that's partly why I started needing money. Gee. Crossing the desert to get here was very tough. It was hot in all my fur. And I almost ran out of food. Gee! There's not much to scavenge in the desert. But I'd heard of a beautiful city on the other side. With my spirit of adventure, I couldn't say no. But now I'm trapped here. It's not easy. But no matter what, I always keep a smile on. Thing will turn around. Doo -doo. Maybe people don't like you because it looks like you have skinned a red panda and are wearing it on your head like the whole head on your head I could see how people might find that disconcerting people in this city treat foreigners like a disease it's cruel I hate it I came a long way to be safe from the war but here I'm an outsider and with monsters attacking us now I guess it's not safe either I can't believe Chandish would really send giants. They're way bigger than the little guys in the forests. But hey, this whole conflict is crazy. I think we all want it to be over. I'm sick of this hot weather. 
terrible for my skin, too. You can buy something if you want, by the way. Good sales pitch. But you don't seem like a jewelry type. So the way they're sitting there, and they mention the desert, like their pose and the fact they're under a tarp. Kind of made me think of the, all the Gerudo merchants in Breath of the Wild. What was the Gerudo settlement called? I don't remember. This way to exit city. Oh, to exit... <laughs> My brain just parsed. Exit city is like the name of another city. The red pen is their own chin. Oh, it seems like I can't go further. I'm just stuck. It's just Gerudo Town? So I thought it would have an interesting name, but I guess not. I can't remember. I can't, like, get up here, can I? That flower. The lone flower is very suspicious, but I can't do anything about it. I have to take a sip of water. Well, Kiwi want ones? Yeah, one. Okay. Figured I'd stall by petting a jackalope. Hello. I'm so grateful for my chin, Yoshi. He's a trusty friend. And he keeps my lap nice and cozy, too. I always keep Yoshi very close to me. I feel so relaxed with him around. Once, when I was a kid, I was separated from my parents. I was so scared. But Yoshi made me feel okay. He started howling until my parents found us. He's a smart little boy. Getting in and out of rule has gotten challenging as the war escalated. Are you from outside rule? How did you get in? I bet you had to bust your way through the border wall, didn't you? <laughs> the look on your face. I'm only joking, you know. Uh, <clears throat> about that. Uh, don't, don't worry about it, Miriam. My friend's a communist. He holds meetings. But I can't afford to go to those. I don't have diddly squat. But it's not about having what you want. It's wanting what you got. Why, why are they charging money for the communist meetings? I just, I look over Turning Red fan. You just watched Turning Red last night. I still haven't seen that, but then I never watch movies. I'm grateful to be alive here. I came from Lumbertown in the forest. Oh, I was there. Really? It's still there? I've been worried for them, especially with monsters reaching the gate here. I thought, well, good that they're okay. So they're all right? Yes. Basically, there's still lots of monsters there. I was with a friend who could fly, so we got out. But we couldn't bring anyone. I see. We've been trying to petition the king to send help, but it hasn't been fruitful. The hero led a big band of us here from the town. It was very heroic. It's nice, you know. Having a hero to come help you in a situation like that. I could get used to it. If only our king was so compassionate. Why don't you overthrow him? The Chandish are crazy! Take it from me, youngster. I was married to one. They learn all kinds of wacko magic over there. Don't trust them! I used to have a full head of hair. But my chondish wife took it all away from me when she left. She got the hair and the divorce. With her magic! That's the kind of wackos they are, youngster. They'll use spells for any old petty thing. You ask me, this war has gone on for too, too many years. We should have crushed those witches by now. It's an awful thing, war. But someone's gotta fight the evil out there. Did Miriam steal Kiwi's hair? I guess we've only seen it briefly, but Kiwi has like a little curl under their hat. You're not from around here, are you? I hate to say it, but your clothes are 
Disgusting. When's the last time you washed them? Where on earth have you been to wearing that? My buddy Bo is military. It's a pretty raw deal. My dad has a lot of money, so I'm lucky. I don't have to enlist or anything. I hope Bo can get out of it somehow. It's kind of hard being young these days. You can make plans about what kind of job you want to have, but once you get to a certain age, you might just get put into the war. And all those plans go out the window. Not really hopeful. I mean, I'm lucky, but... I feel like the vibes in this town aren't great. I like the hero. She's so cool. She's like the coolest, strongest girl in the whole world. Wow. And I hear she's staying in Shyshan at the lodge. Like a normal person. So humble. Good day, citizen. Everything in order? Seen anything or anyone suspicious in the city? Don't hesitate to come to me if so. Even if it's someone you know, okay? The military's here to keep us all safe. Oh, I don't like snitching on your neighbors. Everyone's excited about the hero in town, aren't they? Even if she wasn't here, we could have stopped those monsters. I just want to make sure you know that. Shaishan is the safest place in the world. But we appreciate her help, of course. Us soldiers are all huge fans of the hero, too. We're interested in working with her to keep the city safe. I haven't gotten to meet her yet, but I really would like to. Oh, hello, Boogie. Hang on, let me pet the jackalope. You know, I've been thinking about his dark materials, but I couldn't remember the, the names of, like, everyone's companion animal. Like, what they're called generally, so I didn't say it. Hello. Are you interested in any potions? I made them all myself. The science behind it is very interesting. I source all of my ingredients from nature, and I apply knowledge from chemistry to make new concoctions. My potions are high quality. They produce consistent results. You should buy some. That sounds fun! I don't have any money, though. Oh. The conversation just ends? Kiwi, you should have at least, like, gotten some free samples first. It's like going to, to like, a, a gelato place. You know, they give you the teeny little spoon so you can try a sample of something. Maybe you can do that with the potions, Kiwi. I mean, they're not going to do it now because now they know you have no money, but before. Did you see the hero? She was here earlier. She's so cool. I think she went to the lodge. So she's staying here! I want to meet her so bad! It was so scary when the Chandish monsters came, but then the hero just killed those bad guys! I can't believe she's real! And she's here in town at the lodge! Do you think she can really shoot lightning? I heard she has a magical dash move too. And a cool sword! I didn't know she had a dash move. Don't interrupt me right now. I'm... thinking. My girlfriend said something very strange to me earlier, and I just can't figure out what she meant. Did I do something wrong? Is she going to dump me? I can't figure it out. I wish I could talk to my Chin about this. I think she understands girls much better than I do. I mean... Your chief would probably suggest dive-bombing your girlfriend. And maybe she's into that. I don't know. Where's the lodge? There is no war in Ba Sing Se. Is that how you say it? Again, never seen Avatar. Oh, wait. I can still talk to you. I'm gonna soak up the sun and remind everyone to lighten up. Because when you feel down, you really got no one to blame but yourself. Maybe I'm not the king of rule. But I'm the king of me. You don't need cash to be happy. Because, hey, the sun's free. Yeah, but 
son, don't get you coffee beans from the pirates. That is how you say it? Good. Give her a live fish. Girls love live fish. <laughs> Have you tried showing off your plumage? Am I interrupting something, ladies? Hello? Well, well, well! If it isn't my favorite bard and witch! I didn't know you two were in town. That's crap. We walked right by you earlier. Did you? Well, what's shaken? We want to meet the king. Of rule? Yeah, I guess he's laying pretty low these days. You'd have to be pretty important to meet him. Yeah, we get it. What do you get to meet the king? Sheesh. All this attitude. For your information, I saved the city from a giant monster attack. And I need to learn the overseer song from the king. Important saving the world business, you know? The king knows the overseer song? We need that too! You do? Oh! Yeah, I guess that makes sense. How else would you keep breaking into the spirit world? Tell you what. I'll help you both out. Really? Sure. I'll bring you along to my meeting later. I could use a couple flunkies. Flunkies? I mean, I don't have to bring you. No, no, no! We'll do it! Ugh. Cool. But hey, listen. Since I'm doing you both such a huge favor, I could use one from you, too. Like what? Nothing too hard. <laughs> I need to get a potion of power from the local shop. Can you pick one up for me? It would really be a huge help. You know, if you wanted to tag along later. Thanks! You're the best. Hey, you didn't forget what I needed, did you? I remember. So you're good at singing, right? Yeah! That's very nice. What other kinds of gear you got? Gear? Yeah, like... I don't have that kind of stuff. What? You mean you... Just do singing? I'm a bard. Sheesh. I always assumed you were at least, like, an archer or something. Crazy that you even got this far. Hey, you didn't forget what I needed, did you? Maybe. It's the potion of power. There's a potion shop in town that probably sells it. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. When I read Audrey's dialogue, it's really hard not to do these really broad gestures with my hands. It's easier when she's not waving a sword around, but only just. Hello, yes, yes. Welcome to our humble inn. I do not know if you are aware, but the hero is staying with us. So please be on your best behavior. We would very much like to have her endorsement. Yes, yes. If the hero gives us a glowing review, then surely we'll be overrun with guests. Times have been hard with the war, you see. Rule does not take many visitors these days. Also, if you are bringing a chinin, please make sure to clean up after them. We've gotten many complaints of untidy rooms. Yeah, I wonder now if Audrey can sing. We haven't heard her sing, no. Just waggle a sword around. Can't break into a room. Sucks. Who needs gear when you're the pure cinnamon roll around? Exactly. That's what I tell myself when I forget something. When I'm out of the house. Ha. 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 No, no, no. Uh, hello. It's you again. We're here for the potion of power. Wow. You didn't strike me as such high rollers. 
It will cost quite a few farquads. Farquads? Um, farquads? As in currency? Money? Oh! Well, you don't have any of that. Oh. Well, in that case, you can't have it. Ah! Uh, can we do something for you to give it to us? Maybe for some of my other potions. But the potion of power is very luxurious. You would need a treasure chest of far quads to afford it. Ugh! Forget about it! Me and my grandma used to make potions. It's not that hard. Screw you and your hoity-toity store. We'll just do it ourselves for way cheaper. Okay. Let's get out of here, Kiwi. This kingdom's currency is Shrek memes. Uh, where's that picture like Farquaad pointing and laughing, but it just says Bard. Good luck with your potion brewing. The potion of power can be very tricky to create. I hope your friend knows what she's doing. If she does, actually, I would love to talk to her. There aren't many potion enthusiasts here. Miriam, you should make friends. Potions are classically thought of as a magical thing, but people in rule don't tend to trust magic much. Your friend isn't a magic user. Is she? She might run into trouble around here. I saw the hero was in town. That's very exciting for a potion brewer like me. That's someone who could actually afford a portion potion of power. A portion of potion of power. Uh, no offense. None taken. Kiwi. Screw that guy. And screw the hero. She knows we can't afford fancy potions. She's trying to embarrass us. But I wasn't kidding. We can make it ourselves. It took me a minute to remember. But I definitely know all the ingredients for that one. Probably. Those are all the ingredients we need. Just flowers and plants. See? Not that hard. She probably assumed we would never be able to get it. And that's why she agreed to help us at all. But we can beat her at her own game. Then she'll have to admit she was lying. But since that's her pride on the line, she'll probably actually take us to the king instead. I'm not sure I'm following. Doesn't matter. Just get those ingredients. I'm actually really excited to show her up like this. <laughs> Look, she's smiling. I used to do this all the time with my grandma. Collecting stuff for a potion, I mean. We'd go into the forest and pick mushrooms and stuff. This is kind of like that. Were you always really grumpy as a kid, too? <laughs> no comment, huh? Making a potion. It really does make me think of Grandma Safi. I kind of wish she was here. She knew a lot about potion ingredients. I don't really know what I'm doing. I hope she's doing okay. None of the ingredients we need are crazy rare. So we can probably find them all around this region. Probably. Could I like spook someone's bird? I, maybe that's a leaf and not, uh -huh, yeah. I was thinking maybe it's a feather. <gasps> Do my bidding butterfly. Can you, can you bring this to me? Wait, I can still talk to this child. The butterflies in Shishan are so nice. If you sing, they follow you around. But they get bored fast if you stop. If you can bring five to this tree, I think something special would happen. Okay, okay, I need to recruit some butterflies. So I just have to hope that my hand doesn't fall off the stick. Which might happen. Hopefully not. Hello? Oh, do I have to steal that frog from that child? Is that a live frog? 
I don't want to use a live frog in this potion. That's five, yeah? <gasps> Thank you! Ingredient, get! We can drink the potion ourselves and beat Audrey to a pulp. I want to see Miriam fight Audrey again, but this time she just has massive biceps. Wow! You're like a master of the butterflies! Can you talk to them too? Please tell them Lance is hi! I like to sing to the butterflies. When I'm alone at night, I sing out the window so they come to me. There's a couple of the same ones that come every night. I think they're a little family. My little butterfly friends. They're like my second chin. Oh, but they'll never replace you, Lucia. I just belatedly saw the chat. It's the guy from Celeste. Which guy now? I miss them. I named my butterfly family Suki and Tengen, by the way. I thought they should have regular people names. If I gave them cute buggy names, they might think I was making fun of them. But they're adult bugs of the family, so they need adult names. You know, the devs have captured, like, small child logic well. I gotta give them props for that. Oh, Oshiro! Oh, oh, in the hotel. I even missed all the comments on the Shrek memes. Would you take a Shrek instead? It's a prescription frog. Yeah, we need it to make eye drops. Hey, look at this cool frog I found. Wow. Me and my friend need a frog like that. Can I have it? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's dead. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, can I ask you a question? Sure. Are you a dork? Huh? Cause you look like a big dork! <laughs> With your silly hat and feather. I'm a bard! <laughs> That's rude. Swords are so cool! I want a big sword like the hero has. It looks like so much fun! Swing! <laughs> wow, rude. Poor Kiwi. Also, why does that child just have a dead frog? Why are you carrying around a dead frog? Haha, <laughs> roasted. Okay, I know the mushroom was, um... I don't remember your name. Can I have your mushroom? Ephius. Ephius? Hi! About your yellow mushroom. I need it for a potion. Can I have it? <laughs> I wish I could just give it away. But I need money. Badly. I had to sell my horse, and now I'm trapped in this city. Huh, I know. But is there maybe something I could do in exchange for it? Or I guess that was maybe more of an I know. Gee! Well, business has been very slow. So if there were a way you could help me with... Promotion... I just pretend I'm rolling my R's. For example, by performing in front of my caravan. I can do that. Gee! You'll have to write a theme song for my shop. I have some guidelines for success with this. I may be a panda after all, but I understand humans very well. They like patterns and repetition. Whatever song you write, you're going to have to sing it over and over. Without changing anything! So make it interesting, but not too interesting. Good enough. Sure. Rudu, is this the song you want? Yes. Gee, I think it's great. Now we just need to sing it over and over again. And the humans will come flocking. I hope I don't have to do this like in time. 
Maybe I do it. Just kidding. <laughs> I should have added more notes. Well. I've never seen that accursed baby shark video. But if I had, I feel like that's the kind of song I should have made. I wish I had improvised the song of storms. That would have been appropriate. <sighs> hey, do you have like a Twitter account I can manage? Gee! Look at all these customers who came. All thanks to your singing. I have no problem giving you this. Cool. Yay! I'm going to be rich now! Ha! That was an intriguing tune you sang. It was annoying at first, but something about that fifth repetition or so. It made me really like it. And it made me notice the pretty nature stuff sold here. I bet some would make a unique piece of decor. Command melody from Wind Waker. I don't remember how that one goes. When I think of the most common song in Wind Waker, it's da do da. You know where you change the wind's direction? That song was so catchy. Now it's stuck in my head. I'm kind of angry about it, actually. I want it to stop. I guess there's a shop here. All this foresty stuff has a nice smell. Maybe I'll get it to help me relax. Get a, a, a nice bundle of lavender to forget the song stuck in your head. I saw people who were into... I blah, blah, I saw people were into this caravan. I like the vibe here. I can't really afford this nature stuff. But can you just find the stuff around outside anyway? You can't, like, easily get outside right now, right? So it's like you're getting a taste of outside. Do I have to sing for more butterflies? Yeah. Okay. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. You managed to avoid Baby Shark for all those years? Yeah, me too! I could probably think of the command melody from Wind Waker, like the like the ones you use for Medley and Makar. Um, if I wasn't like uh, uh, hearing this music right now, I do remember thinking I really like how oh okay they have to be in this screen how they harmonize with one another. Like if you lay over the one you play for uh, Makar and the one you play for Medley, they harmonize. I can't, like, get up here, can I? Butterflies. Okay. One more. One more. There we go. I just have to not accidentally let go of the right stick. And we're golden. Thank you. You sure you won't fight my enemies for me? Motion. <laughs> Wish I saw that sooner. Okay, now the flower was in, I think, what, the next screen? How? Oh, Miriam's here. Help. Hey, I found one of the ingredients. It's in this rich person's backyard. I was thinking about just taking it. What? No way! What would your grandma think if you did that? Sheesh, okay, sheesh. Let's ask for it. How do you know Grandma Safi is not a criminal? It's just a flower. No big deal. Go right ahead. What would my grandma think? Okay, dweeb. You don't even know my grandma. Is she a criminal? 
What? No. She's a super sweet old lady. I mean, you're right. She wouldn't like me stealing. It's just... You didn't know that. <laughs> Kiwi and I had the same thought. Is your grandma a criminal? Oh, Boogie. Arigato gozaimashita. Hello? Hi! There's a blue flower in your backyard. Me and my friend need it for a potion. Can we use it? Mm. No. <laughs> you know, I was gonna say, I bet she just says no and slams the door in her face, and then I didn't. But I want you all to know that I called it. Nice. So now what? Want to just take it? No! I'll ask again. Nicely. Plus, if we take it now, she'll know it's us. That hag is not going to help us. Miriam! You need to be nice. And trust in people more. She'll help. You'll see. Steal it, steal it. I said no. I know, but we need it to save the world. It's a long story. Please help us. Insane kids. If it means that much to you, you can have it. If you do some yard work for me. We can do that. Right, Miriam? Come on, Miriam, you have a broom. Right! Lead the way, miss! All these leaves. Move them out of my yard. Out that way. Or out that way. <laughs> You're not gonna help, are you, Miriam? Can I displace them by singing? Oh, I can. Uh... Kiwi harmonizes very nicely. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Red Maple Leafs! Canada represent! Miriam, you're gonna help me. You're not gonna help me. Hey! Have you ever stopped and noticed? That the hero goes around fighting monsters with a cool sword. And we get stuck doing yard work. If she were here, she'd just take the dumb flower. Or we she just take the dumb flower. Why aren't we? In case you forgot, the world is about to end. It doesn't matter if this old lady has leaves in her yard. But, I mean, whatever. You do you. Hello, Deck. I hope your move went well. I was thinking about you the other day. Travis touched down to save the world. Please, nobody teach Kiwi the concept of Moe. There's got to be a better way to do this. Like, I can get them up there, but then they get stuck and I can't get them down. Maybe it, it they make it tedious so you're tempted to steal the flower. But as I mentioned, Kiwi is again like gender neutral. Kiwi is a good boy, gender neutral. I don't know how else to convey that. Like saying a character is a good boy has a specific connotation to it. Saying they're a good person doesn't fit because it's like it's like a golden retriever. You know, when you call a dog a good boy, it has a certain degree of, like, goobiness to it that I think saying someone, like, you know, a good person, maybe a good egg. I could say Kiwi's a good egg, but again, it lacks that gooby quality. A good egg is good, but it's not quite... Again, I'm not getting that golden retriever sense. I mean, I'm making progress. 
because if people get really impatient, I could steal the flower. Oh, see, I'm making it worse now. Get up and over there. You would never trust Travis Touchdown to save the world. Is this better than the sound of a lawnmower? Well, I don't think a lawn lawnmower can harmonize quite so well. You got to do some gardening this morning. Oh gosh. <laughs> Here, there's been wet snowfall since early this morning. Like these really thick, heavy flakes of snow. You know, I wonder now if this isn't a fool's errand because of this uh, bundle. Do the talking to a good dog voice and go, Who's a good bard? Who's a good bard? Me? You, Kiwi! Wow! <laughs> I just saw maybe one or two is okay. What, one or two what? Crimes? I feel like I should steal the flower. I don't think this is, this is happening. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard, but like... There's gonna be like a little leaf left on the ground that I won't be able to get rid of it. Leaves, but also crimes. Moving good. Unpacking's going slow, but you're finally on a computer now, and not a jury rigged tablet on a shelf unit, monitor the on the counter, folding tear table chair. Sorry, folding chair in the kitchen. You know what heck with this. I'm sorry I've wasted people's time. Well, wanna take it? No! Well, okay. Uh... That's it, we're gonna be on the path to the bad ending. Yeah! Oh, too late. I already said yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, chat delay. Oh, is she baking us cookies? No! <laughs> okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. It didn't happen. All right, well, I guess if you don't mind, then I was worried I was... Sorry to undo all that. I guess I was worried I was boring people. I don't know, tell me tell me what you've been up to. All of yous. You know, even if it, you feel like it's inconsequential. You know, what have you been up to? Have you watch anything interesting lately? You read anything interesting? I've been... I started rereading um, this book by Jonathan L. Howard, who is the author of the Johannes Cabal series. Um, which is what my Duskmar in Pokemon uh, Diamond is named after. Um, no, sorry. Johannes was in Platinum. But anyway, um, I've been rereading uh, Katja's World, which takes uh, place on a colonized planet called Rasalka that's totally covered in water. And there's submarines. And I really like the protagonist. Um, like a, a very pragmatic girl with a good head for math. Um, and I'm also a sucker for like good pseudo-paternal dynamics in fiction, and that one has a really good pseudo-paternal dynamic. Hey. Yeah? Okay, yeah, we, we did this already. I guess we're just vibing. You discovered Vampire Survivor. I know a lot of, like, because I see it on my YouTube recs, a lot of the, uh, the Hololive girls have been, uh, streaming that. I saw one of them play a bit because I was curious, but definitely seems like one of those, like, arcade-y early, like, early access games where it's very feature light for now. I know the devs are planning more stuff. I don't know, like, is this doable? 
Can someone confirm? Is this doable? I don't mind vibing with folks. It's a very dopamine activating game, isn't it? I've definitely needed some dopamine. <laughs> Like, what does kiwi grapes incense smell like? Is a kiwi grape a thing? Like, or is it a combination of kiwis and grapes? No. It's always like these little, these little leaves. It doesn't really smell like kiwi or grapes, but it's kind of fruity. Interesting. Maybe the game will be merciful and it's like, okay, you don't need to get rid of every leaf. You can have like five leaves left behind. You know what? It's gotta be like... Aren't you familiar with like, it's a very famous old TV bit from I Love Lucy. Where she and her pal Ethel are working in a candy factory, wrapping chocolates on a conveyor belt. And they're told they'll get fired if they miss wrapping even one. And... Eventually they can't keep up, but so they don't get in trouble, they start, like, cramming all the chocolates in their faces and shoving them down their shirts and hoping they won't get caught. And I'm just thinking about that, but this is, except with Kiwi and Miriam shoving leaves in their mouths. You use the bourbon conveyor belt, or sorry, bonbon, not bourbon. The bonbon conveyor belt is a metaphor at work all the time. It's a good, like, it, something about that bit. Like, it's just timeless. You used it as a metaphor before, too, and everyone instantly knew what you were talking about. Good. It's the kind of thing I've brought up before. Like, I don't know, work or something, and people are like, what? What are you talking about? No, it's a famous bit. Bourbon conveyor belt has different results. <laughs> well, see, that's uh, the other famous I Love Lucy bit is um, Vitamita Vegemin, where she's trying to be a, a do a commercial for this um, health, air quotes, healthy tonic that's like 40% alcohol or something. So she gets progressively drunker the, the more she does takes of the commercial. That's also a good bit. Few comedy bits encapsulate the human condition as well. I agree. Actually, no, no, there's another bit from I Love Lucy where um, her husband Ricardo, or Ricky Ricardo, I should say, and then, who's Ethel's husband? Frank? I don't know. Some, like, 50s dude name. But they're like, we're going to make rice. Our wives make it cook all the time. Rice can't be that hard. Not realizing, of course, that rice increases in volume exponentially. Like, ah, oh, ten cups of rice, that seems good. And then the kitchen just winds up overflowing with rice everywhere. I feel like that's also kind of like a good metaphor for the human condition in some way. Like, you're trying to contain all of this rice, but it's bubbling onto the floor. It's going out the windows. It's flowing into the living room. It cannot be contained. Tell my wife I love her. Goodbye. Is it ethyl alcohol? Ah, ah, ah. Anyway, Q, you should just shove these leaves in your mouth. Come on. Nutritious! It's like a salad. And like, have you eaten anything since starting your quest? You gotta... You gotta... Gotta fuel yourself. <gasps> You've done such a lovely job with my yard. I baked these cookies for you. Wow! See, Miriam? We did the right thing! And we got cookies! Wow. Cool. But what we need is the flour. Of course. I'm happy to give that as well. Yay! Everybody's happy! This could have been so much easier. So, I got a closer look at this flour. And it's not exactly the kind we need. But it's pretty close, so... 
It's probably fine. What do you mean, probably fine? Good news is, this was the last one. I saw a good mixing pot at the inn where the hero's staying. Let's go back there to fix this upstairs. Wait, no. Let's go back there to fix this up. <laughs> Just insert a whole other word. Thanks to those cookies, Kiwi gets the small sugar boost needed to save the world. Well, thank you for sticking with me. You know what? I'm glad we saw both of them. We got them both recorded. Uh, my crimes on the record for all eternity. You got all the ingredients? Heck yeah! Great. Let's see him. Literally none of these are right. Huh? I mean, they're close. But they're all the wrong species or off color. Oh. Also, the frog was supposed to be alive. Oh. I can work with this, though. There's a pot inside the lodge here we can use. Hopefully the hero doesn't notice us. Just give Audrey this completely suspect potion of power. It's fine. Is it gonna work? Probably not. But it doesn't have to work. It just has to look like it will. Potion making runs in my blood. It'll be fine. Your parents make potions too? I don't know. Never met him. Oh. Kiwi, you really gotta stop bringing up people's dead or estranged parents. They left me with grandma before I can remember. When I was a kid, she'd tell me that they were coming back for me someday. But eventually she stopped saying that. They basically abandoned me. Oh. I'm... Sorry. That sounds really sad. Only when I think about it. Grandma Safi is all the family I ever needed. She made me forget I was missing anything. But I did always have a feeling that maybe if I worked hard enough and made myself into something, something heroic and famous, that they'd notice and realize what a mistake they made leaving me and come back. But that's a ridiculous idea. I don't even care if I ever see them now. Actually, I'm pretty sure I never want to. And I can't do anything heroic anyway. We're gonna save the world, Miriam! Trying to. Would you look at that? Potion's done. Potion get? Um, it looks weird. Yeah, it might actually be deadly. Let's see if the hero likes it. You know, Miriam, I don't want to be an accessory to murder, but you're very charming when you go hehehe. <laughs> Wait, Audrey was just right here this whole time, huh? Uh... Oh, there you are! That took forever! Did you fall asleep or something? You almost made me late. I don't have time to hear your hilarious excuses. Point is, you couldn't get it, right? Mm, no, we have it right here. Really? Show her the goods, Kiwi. Huh. Well... Great job! This was a huge favor. No problem. So now... You'll take us to the king, right? Yes. But we have to go. Right now. All right, flunkies. Excited? Just keep behind me. What if I don't keep behind you? Hey, watch it. 
Stay behind me, all right? Okay. Oh, have a good one. Oh, I miss Joe leaving, too. Well, you all have a good one. Uh, da, da. What are you doing? It's the ghost message. It knows we're close to the king. I think it's trying to get out of me. Well, that's not creepy. You two okay back there? Yep, no problem. Ha <laughs> Uh, okay. Sure. Try to keep up. Here we go. Yeah, I guess we were supposed to boil the frog to death. <laughs> hey! Keep it together! We're almost there! <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I know Kiwi's under distress here. Let me take a sip of water once. There we go. You doing okay, buddy? Pal? Why do I feel like the third wheel here? Hello? Now presenting His Royal Majesty, the King of Rule himself. Thank you, thank you. Okay, great. It's very nice to meet you all, etc. Wow. Just very great. Obviously, we have a lot going on right now. With the big invasion in three days and all that. So sorry if I seem terse. What? An invasion? Your Majesty, that was supposed to still be a secret. Oh. Oof. See, this is why I can't talk to outsiders anymore. Too many secrets to keep track of. Secrets for days. Hey, uh, is your buddy okay? Oh, that's very kind of you, Miriam. What happened? Oh, there you are. You sang your stupid message to the king. Oh, right, the message. The ghost was actually a princess from Chandish. Uh-huh. And she wanted the war to end. Did it work? The message? No. It completely did not work. The king was really insulted by it. He threw you in jail. And then, eventually, he taught the hero the song. 
I had to spy on them to learn it. And then I had to bust you out of jail. And it was pretty cool and heroic and... Jeez. You were really passed out for all of that? Guess so. I'm sorry I caused so many problems. It's a good thing you were there to help me out. Again. That's fine. I'm getting used to saving your butt. Oh, wait! The king said they were invading in three days! Is that still gonna happen? What are we gonna do, Miriam? It's two days now. And, I don't know. It's not our problem. For now, we're going to the Sky Temple. The Nexus Point, right on the border. We have everything we need to go meet the Overseer. And that's the priority. In fact, we're gonna get there now. I wanted to bust out of jail. It would have been like Chrono Trigger. War ended. No, no. War got even worse than before. Feeling better? Yeah. Just kind of wobbly. Great. Well, song time. I guess I'll play it on my piccolo. Since I'm the one who knows it this time. Great! This feels weird. Don't, uh, listen too closely, okay? Huh? I'm not some fancy pants musician, okay? I'm not pressing anything right now. Kiwi is doing the awkward jig of their own volition. Oh, I guess it's because the dance I had set was that one. Well. No, this feels right. I... Don't think it worked. Ah! Probably because of my sucky playing. You try it! I thought you played very nicely. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. What do you want? There was some kind of mess up? That song isn't gonna work. Ugh! Why can't I do anything right? No, no, no. I mean... That's not the whole song. The King of Rule only knew one part of it. The other part is in Chondish. You gotta talk to the Queen there. Oh. Does the hero know that? We just figured it out. Something weird is going on in the spirit world here. She didn't want me to tell you, but I do what I want. I'm still rooting for you, little bee. And you too, Miriam. You two are a super cute team. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna skedaddle. Audrey probably needs me. Love you too. Mwah. I hate her. Miriam, you hate everything. Except your grandma. So you can't be all bad. What the heck was that? I just heard something vibrate, but it's not my phone, because my phone's in my pocket. Weird. So, are we going to Chandish? Guess so. We definitely don't want to go back to Rule. Since I busted you out of jail. We're basically fugitives now. Oh. Yeah. I told you. Rules, they gotta be broken. Rules, they gotta be card. 
Where's this place that uh, Mask was talking about? Well, they mentioned the desert was on the other side of, um... Hang on. The desert was on the other side of, of Rule. But if I wanted to go that way, it wouldn't let me go that way. Like there was an invisible wall. Hey! Don't go that way! That's back to Rule. We're we're fugitives, remember? Chandish is the other way. Actually, I don't remember going to jail. Yeah, it's cute. She lets Kiwi ride on the broom now. Uh. Should have just walked. Should have just walked. <laughs> what timing? Oh, she lets Kiwi ride on the broom now. Oh, gosh. Viv, we screwed up. Yes, I can plainly see that. What do we do? Are they okay? No, they look pretty dead. I don't want to poke them. Get it. It's alive. I'm alive. You're alive. My broom. She's alive too. Oh, thank Aya. Did you creep shoot us down? Yes. We're really sorry. We didn't know you were witches. You're not supposed to be on the border. We helped you land safely. What are you doing out here? None of your business. Flying. Looks like Miriam's nose is broken. Viv, I think they're on a secret honeymoon. No! Oh my gosh, they super are. We're really sorry we messed up your romantic flight. Ugh, you but didn't. <clears throat> what are you doing out here? We're Vivian and Sandra, the Spell Squad. We're hunting monsters out here. Uh-oh. That must be it, Viv. Duty calls. Sorry again that we shot you down and stuff. We got a monster to deal with. Stay safe here. My broom. Miriam's no good, awful, terrible, very bad day. <laughs> Enough with the singing already! But the leaves, Miriam! What if we get cookies out of it? Seriously, cut it! No! What? <gasps> Can you please not right now? I'm not in the mood. Well, obviously I have to antagonize you. Okay, I get it. Look, I'm sorry, Miriam. I have to exhaust your responses. Or you kill me. Okay, okay, that's, that's probably it. I think she's gonna kill me now. You know what's so silly is my personal mnemonic for knowing how to spell onomatopoeia off the top of my head as I sound it out of my brain as it's onomatopoeia. And now you know my shameful secret. Well, I guess it's not really shameful, it's just silly. Onomatopoeia. Oh, Ghastlies! I guess they're haunters. I guess they're more haunters, they got arms. Wow. Oh crap, it's bigger than we thought! No big deal. Remember our training. <laughs> what are these things? Also, hello, Capotico. You have the same color as Claire, so I didn't realize you were here at first. There you go. Hey! You can fight those things? Well, I can sing. That's great! Welcome to the team! Help us with this thing! Are you gonna... kill it? What? Kill it? We're... 
not even sure it's alive. And we gotta protect- oh, sorry, wrong. And we gotta protect our forest from it. If you're not gonna help, then stay out of the way. Boss? Boss? <laughs> oh, hang on. Give me a chance. There we go. Okay, there we go. I, I dodged it. I guess I just wasn't moving fast enough previously. You don't want to say Homestuck, but you have to wonder if the devs worked on Homestuck before this. What make, make what makes you say that? All, like anything I know about Homestuck is secondhand, so. No. I tried. Sandra, her animations remind you of uh, Vivian. Vivian is the, the teal one. Kiwi! The heck are you doing here? Um, well, these witches said they needed help. Irresponsible! This thing is dangerous. I can't believe they let you jump in here. I guess there's no stopping it, so. I guess I'll help fight this thing. But only to save your butt. Thanks. You gonna, can I like sing and resonate with you, Miriam? No. Oh, there we go, okay. We get to help Miriam blast stuff. Woohoo. What? Okay. I was gonna ask the monster, are you alright? But evidently not. My good expressions. And of course, this whole game has such expressive art, and I dig it. We did it. Heck yeah! Another down! Woohoo! Don't woohoo this! These stupid witches nearly got us killed. Twice now. What's the deal, huh? What was that thing? We don't know, boss. They started appearing recently. You mean they aren't yours? Ours? What do you mean? Uh, I thought the monsters were, uh, like a witchy thing? What? <laughs> no way, boss. They were a total mystery to us. All we know is they showed up around when the princess disappeared. Oh. The princess. Yeah, the princess. And the weird thing is, they grow up the ground? And they don't seem to have a mind of their own. Vivian! Don't forget, civilians aren't supposed to know all this stuff. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Military secrets, I guess. But since you helped us take that thing down... We can trust you to keep all this between us, hey? Where did you say you were headed to anyways? We're going to the capital, I guess. Oh, you mean Mohabumi? That's easy. We can help you get there no problem. 
Want us to give you a lift? No. You busted my broom. That's what I'm saying. We can make up for it. I feel we should go with them, Miriam. <sighs> fix, fix her broom. <laughs> Feels so weird riding on someone else's broom. Fres and never have to ride shotgun on my own broom. A riverboat. We're gonna go on a riverboat cruise and gamble, and maybe there'll be a murder. Okay, get off here. This ferry goes straight to the capital. Seriously? You can't even take us all the way there. After you wrecked my broom. Hey, boss. We got stuff to do. And it's still a while ago. You'll be there tonight. Good luck. Is your military like Maho Shoujo? Stupid witches. They helped us, Miriam. After shooting us down. And only because they thought we were Chondish, too. Oh, gosh, Miriam. We totally forgot to tell them. The invasion from Rule. It's tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And Rule thinks Chondish is behind the monsters. But they're a threat to these people, too. We have to stop it, Miriam. I get that it sucks, but it really isn't our problem. What? How can you say that? We can't let them keep fighting. They have to learn to settle their differences. To fight their common enemy. If you don't learn the Earth Song, it won't matter. Don't forget. We're fugitives, too. Remember? We need to keep our heads down. Get the Overseer Song and get out. Before the invasion starts. And without calling attention to ourselves. I think we've had enough being attacked and suspected and jail time. I don't even remember the jail time. Well, I do. Can we please just play it cool here? Yes. Cool as a cucumber. <sighs> I didn't realize the capital was still so far. We're gonna be on this boat all day. It's just like when we were pirates. Remember that, Miriam? No, I completely forget. I must have hit my head many times. Yeah, we hung out with pirates and they really like coffee and... Oh, you're joking. Sometimes I wish you were, too. I've never been to Chandish. Is it where all witches are from? I wonder if my parents ever lived here. It's a little weird. I've never really been around other witches before. Grandma Safi told me there was a kingdom of witches. Never crossed my mind to go, though. Back in Delphi, I was the only witch. It made me kind of special. This whole kingdom feels like a big club that I was never invited to. I'm just going to stay here and avoid talking to anyone. Oh, Miriam. They probably don't invite you because you're rude. Hmm. Oh, hello. I do apologize if I seem distracted. I'm in a bit of a pickle, you see. I'm in charge of the musical entertainment this evening, but I forgot a most crucial element. Music. The band has no score to play. Oh! Yes, yes. They're all preparing in their quarters now, but they must be as bamboozled as I am. Hmm. Well, we could... No, no, not that. But what if... Hmm... The only solution that comes to mind would be if we improvised a new score to play? But... Oh, what a gamble. If only we had a composer on board. Gamble? 
Is this not a gambling ship? Whoa. This is a cool person. What are you headed to Mohabumi for? I was out in the boonies visiting family, personally. Can't wait to get back home now. All the good stuff is in the city. This boat ride is so dull. Someone told me there's a performance later, but then she got all mumbly and quiet, so I'm not really sure if there is one or not. Apparently someone famous is on the boat. I don't know who. Wasn't really paying attention. People just keep telling me things. Guess I have one of those faces that people want to tell things to. Oh, Audrey must be on the boat. Ahem. Hello. I'm the captain of this boat, and I'm also the marimba player in the band. Of the three parts, I go first, because I'm the captain. And captains are the leader. It's easily the most important part of the performance. I have to capture the audience's interest and set up the rest of the song. But I don't have any music to play. Perhaps you could compose it for me? Sure! Most excellent. You have the floor. Hmm. Hmm. Shall this be it? Hmm. Let me try again. Let me try again. Sure, whatever. Most excellent. My bandmates are likely in need as well. You should help them to follow up my performance. This is my part, the first to play. Is it still to your liking? Oh, I guess I can always change it later. I must agree. I should call it an evening soon because I have to be up really early tomorrow so I can leave at 5.30 for eight and a half hours of pain. Hello. You know, I don't seem to recall seeing you on this vessel. Oh! <laughs> well, uh, I've definitely been around. Just another witch from Chondish. That's me. Most peculiar. Well, you don't need to answer this. But I must ask, are you a member of the Spell Squad? What? Of course. How rude of me to be so direct. I shan't ask more of it. Us civilians really don't know much, mind. Only theories and rumors. They say that Rule was behind the princess's disappearance and that she's no longer living. You really needn't confirm or deny anything. Your silence says it all. Hmm. I'm sorry if my questioning has bothered you. Your secrets are safe with me. Really, I'm thankful for all the great work the squad does. All while hiding plainly among us. They really are like... Maho Shoujo's. Oh, it's locked. Excuse me! That room is for a very important... Very... I thought I was going to say very, sorry, am a very important VIP guest on this boat. Do not disturb. Please think twice before you barge into random rooms. But it's fun. Kay thought about it. Thought about it again. Kick down the door. Well, maybe I should call it an evening here. And we can make the songs on Friday. Because I gotta get up really early for work. But thank you very much for joining me for more Wander Song. I really appreciate it. The game, this game, again, is so charming. 
and I'm really happy to experience it alongside all of you. So please take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you on Friday for more Wander Song. So goodbye, good night, oyasuminasai. <laughs>